Okay, let's get onwards to page 18 and 19. This company profile, ProShot Catapults. This is the story many of you will have come to see straight away. How it's done. The top picture, it says, a PPNG in unborn, fresh cast form. And in the middle of the picture says, only new aluminium ingots used to feed the dragon. And it's called, Five Dragons and the Rivers of Molten Metal. Pro Shot Catapults. I travelled north from the smoke of old London town to the city of metals, Sheffield. I went in the hope of learning how the fourth successive son of the Lion of Hogan came to inherit mastery of the fire-breathing dragons. For Dragon Master Pete has five in his foundry, enslaved forever to work for the good of mankind, melting metal with fire. Way back in the smoke of his fathers, before the time of technology, Peter's ancestors learned the secrets of metallurgy, and they are held safe to this day by the fourth generation Sir Peter Hogan of the Order of the Foundry. With his dragons chained, Peter can melt metal and cause it to flow to his whim. He has his team of champions to fettle and work the rivers of molten metal to create things, wondrous things, things I wanted to see. OK, enough already. But truly, this is not too much of a leap of the imagination. Because this article is about ProShot Catapults, the world's finest cast metal catapult makers. Oh, beyond issue three aside, people just won an award. They are the finest. They've just won a prize. This is issue one, but that's a detail beyond issue three. Extra, extra. Mm -mm. Who are a piece of Hogan and Sons, a worldwide important player in high-end cast metal from Sheffield. And I mean worldwide. I was blown away. I had no real idea about Pro shot catapults, apart from meeting Peter and the lads in a good few shoots. I had eyed up their table of wares and really wanted one of those shiny frames. Last Christmas, but one, my wife got me a gleaming bronze beauty, a pocket, poacher, mega grip or PPMG, a designed by gamekeeper John. A seriously weighty item. It is the 42nd of its line, engraved under the pommel of the handle. I treasure it, and I had Mr Mick French make me a moulded leather sheath for it to nestle in. And today, I was going to have my very own personal How It's Made show live before my very eyes. It was awesome and great fun, and oh my word, did I learn stuff. Aluminium comes in grades and kinds. Is it to make things for the oil industry? Is it for food use products? And the science of melted metals is deep. It is way more than carbon in steel. There are all sorts of different compounds and elements you add to change the way the melted metal flows. The day I was there, it was fixed so that a top chap named Tony was making PPMG frames. I was able to make a video and the whole atmosphere was amazing. The dragons are, of course, the five gas fired metal furnaces used at Hogan and Sons and today one was working on pro shot catapults making precision sand castings of the PPMG. The smoke of the foundry gets in your clothes. The nose and smell. The smoke of the foundry gets in your clothes and nose, and its smell is very distinctive. Hot, melted metal. First, massive ingots of pure new graded aluminium are fed to the dragon. I mean, placed into the mouth of the furnace. The regasifier technology means that these dragons are breathing their own fire. Really, it's about super efficient use of energy and costs. You can stand within mere feet of the molten aluminium in this case and not feel the radiant heat. I do add that I was always at a distance to avoid being in the way and great care was taken of me. I watched as the moulds were made and learned how about phenolic resin and acid and how it was mixed with moulding sand by a machine that calculated how much to add depending upon the ambient temperature. It was deep. But the sheer skill I saw as Tony made moulds and removed their wooden formers was like something you see in a video. Still not as awesome as seeing him get a big old ladle and pour molten aluminium. Still not as awesome as seeing him get a big old ladle and pour molten aluminium into the assembled PPMG moulds. The liquid silvery flow of melted swirling metal was entrancing. But the most wonderful thing I learned that day 
was that Mr Peter Hogan, he who deserves a knighthood of the catapult community, I think, was every bit as entranced as me. He may be fourth generation, he may be in the top job at an outfit that makes castings for massive companies and royalty of both football and actual countries, but the governor has never, ever stopped loving that moment when the liquid metal that costs so much to melt freezes again. He utterly adores it, and I realised this as I was filming. You can hear his indulgent chuckle at the end. OK, let's just go through the last couple of captions there. Quality first. Quality counts. Tony did smile, but it broke the autofocus. Yes, I was told this man here, boop, this man here wasn't likely to smile. Tony precision pours liquid aluminium and super accurate resin reinforced sound casting mould. Right, let's crack on. The story of Pro Shot Catapults is long, but in Slingshot World magazine we need only know that our frames are the best they can be. The designs are many and varied and include, by happy permission of the original designers, the gamekeeper John, call him GKJ, PPMG, as we see here, as well as the earlier PPSG, a legendarily unforgiving piece of kit for the unwary, terrifyingly accurate sniper in the hands of the expert. A PPSG, or Pocket Poacher Super Grip, is the one that GKJ made famous by winning everything with it. I have him on video hitting a polo mint at 10 metres on his first shot in one and a quarter seconds with his own one. But if you're not skilled already, the chance of a fork hit, brackets, see the glossary, is nigh on certain. It is the frame that sorts the men from the boys. My one is beaten to heck, and I even managed to hand hit once. That's smarted. But their choice is wide. With frames you really can mess about with to find like but their choice is wide, with frames that you really can mess about with to find what you like because they have universal tips. You can shoot with tube sets or flat rubber, either over or around the tips, with a binding groove for tying flat bands on each way round. So many kinds, and aluminium, brass or even bronze if you like, and all of them finished by hand to a very high quality level. Pro Shot catapults are often trusted by top end catapult frame designers to make cast versions of precious frame shapes. They've made multiplex plywood. I saw an Acer Wilson cast set he has made for research. I saw it before Acer did. All in all, I came away awestruck and a bit in love with melted metal. A massive thanks to everyone in the team, of course, at Pro Shot catapults for treating Slingshot World magazine like we were VIPs. Find the video here. And I've popped a little link into it. This picture here says pure essence of Pro Shot catapults. And the top picture, special order castings, just three awaiting hand finishing.